హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు అడిమ ఉపాధ్యాయ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఐ ఎమ్ స్టార్టింగ్ న్యూ వీడియో సిరీస్ ఆన్ ఎగ్జామ్ ప్రిపరేషన్ బోత్ ఫర్ యూర్ ల్యాబ్ అండ్ థియరీ ఐ హ్ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్ విత్ యూ ద వై బాబో సిక్వేషన్స్ ఆన్ వేరియస్ టాపిక్స్ but this topic that is the questions and answers on flesh and fire point is equally important for your lab exams as well as your theory paper therefore i am trying to take these questions in a way so that you can prepare your lab and theory exam together so let's begin with this video but before i start this video i would like you to please subscribe to my channel and also to share my video and like them let's begin with the question and answers in flesh and fire point so when you are performing an experiment using pensky martin apparatus or cleveland apparatus or abels apparatus or there is a question on the lubricants anybody will ask you the first question that is define flesh point or what do you mean by flesh point and your answer will be it is that minimum temperature at which oil under test produces maximum vapors that can be ignited momentarily with a click sound when a standard flame is brought near the surface of the oil and this temperature is called its flesh point when you will complete your answer the second answer which will be short to you will be what do you mean by fire point or define fire point or what is fire point and your answer will be the minimum temperature at which oil under test produces maximum vapors that can burn continuously for at least 5 seconds when a flame is brought near the surface of the oil it is called fire point now the third question will be what are the apparatus employed for the determination of flash and fire point and you should answer it in this way that the apparatus used for flash and fire point determination are cleveland open cup apparatus abels closed cup apparatus and pensky martin closed cup apparatus next question will be do the fire point of a lubricating oil nearby to the flesh point that means is the flesh and fire point close to each other and you should answer no they should be far apart fire point of a lubricant should be minimum 15 to 20 degree centigrade or even higher than the flesh point does the flesh point of a lubricant same or close to the working temperature of the machines and you should answer that the flesh point should be reasonably higher than the working temperatures of the machine so when somebody is asking you about the working temperatures definitely he will put the question to you what do you understand by working temperatures of the machine and your answer should be the working temperature of a machine is that temperature at which the machine works or it is that temperature which is which a machine attains as a result of its motion and continued work done on it why flesh point should be higher than the working temperature of the machine so if a flesh point is close or same as the working temperatures that is the temperature at which the machine works it may result into fire hazards to avoid such accidents 
flesh point should be reasonably higher than the temperature at which the machine works so in short you should say if asked in the viva that the flesh point should be higher than the working temperatures of the machine because if it is close or same as the working temperature it will result into fire hazards what is the significance of determination of flesh and fire point that is why should we determine flesh and fire point what is the importance of determination of flesh and fire point it can be asked in several ways so your answer will be the determination of flesh and fire point signifies the suitability of the oil to act as a lubricant for a machine at its working temperature it also helps in identification of lubricant and the contamination present in it contamination means impurity present in the lubricating oil what type of apparatus is cleveland apparatus cleveland apparatus is an open cup apparatus do we get accurate flesh and fire point using cleveland apparatus the flesh and fire point of the sample determined using cleveland apparatus is 20 to 60 degree centigrade higher than the actual flesh and fire point that means that we don't get the accurate results in the terms of flesh and fire point using cleveland apparatus what type of apparatus is abels and pansky martin apparatus abels and pansky martin apparatus are closed cup apparatus based on the flesh and fire point state the type of apparatus employed so based on the flesh and fire point If the flesh point is below seventy nine degree centigrade or one seventy five degree Fahrenheit, Cleveland apparatus is used. If the flesh point of the test sample is below forty eight degree centigrade or one twenty degree Fahrenheit, Abel's apparatus can be employed. But if the flesh point of the given test sample is above 48 degree centigrade we should use pansky martin apparatus so here we can state the type of apparatus which should be employed based on the flesh and fire point now what are the units to express the flesh and fire point flesh and fire point are temperatures therefore they are expressed in the terms of degree fahrenheit or degree centigrade give important differences between open and closed cup apparatus so here i have tabulated the results of open and closed cup apparatus that is the answer so that you can learn it properly open cup apparatus lacks precision the results obtained by open cup apparatus are minimum 20 to 60 degree centigrade higher than the actual results whereas the closed cup apparatus the results obtained are accurate there is no lid in the open cup apparatus and there is no lid so there is no shutter also to open and close the mouth of the brass cup whereas in the closed cup apparatus the cup is covered with a lid and this lid is provided with a shutter which can be slided in and out to open and close the mouth of the brass cup in the open cup apparatus no stirrer is provided thermometer acts as the stirrer also whereas in the closed cup apparatus the stirrer is an integral part of the apparatus examples we all know that the open cup apparatus there is only one example that is the cleveland apparatus and closed cup apparatus there are two apparatus abels and pansky martin apparatus what are the important differences between abels and pansky martin apparatus so here 
again i have made a table to tell you the important differences the abels and penske martin both are closed cup apparatus but there are certain differences in the abels apparatus we see that it is an indirectly heating apparatus and is heated with the help of water bath whereas the penske martin is a directly heating apparatus in the abels apparatus the stirrer and the shutter are provided with a small handle which is close to the apparatus whereas in the penske martin apparatus the stirrer and shutter are provided with a long spring like a string attached to the stirrer and a long wooden hand handle attached to the shutter the abels apparatus is used when the lubricating oil has a flash point below 50 degree centigrade whereas the penske martin apparatus is used when the flash point of the given test sample is above 50 degree centigrade so we have seen the important differences can you state the similarities of abels and penske martin apparatus yes both the apparatus are closed cup and both are provided with lead and stirrer also both the apparatus give accurate results so these are the similarities of abels and penske martin apparatus what precautions should be taken while determining the flash and fire point using any of these apparatus so the precautions that should be taken while determining the flash and fire point of a given lubricating oil are that there should not be any wind in the laboratory fans should be switched off there should not be any breathing over the surface it should be avoided also the crowding should be avoided because it may disturb the vapors and the third important precaution that should be taken is that a standard flame should be used for determining the flash and fire point now here are the three images identify looking at the image the name of the apparatus 1 2 and 3 so one is abels closed cup apparatus two is cleveland open cup apparatus and three is penske martin closed cup apparatus i have tried to take all the possible questions that could be asked during your viva or in your theory paper if you have more queries don't hesitate to ask me all the very best keep watching my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel also like and share them all the important links are given in the description box take care of yourself and bye bye